This is Gene Key, KDD News. Parts of Texas have received up to 10 inches of snow after a storm clipped the far northwest part of the state the day before the official start of winter. The National Weather Service had a blizzard warning and winter weather advisory in effect until midday Tuesday for the Dumas area. 287 was closed between Amarillo and Delhart, continuing through the New Mexico state line. The Delhart Independent School District called off classes Tuesday after the area received up to 7 inches of snow. Forecaster Todd Beal told the Associated Press that 10 inches of snow fell since Monday outside Texline near the border of New Mexico. Travel continues to be a problem in Moore County. Cold temperatures continuing very icy conditions on the highways and roadways. If you would like the latest road conditions, contact the Texas Department of Transportation by phone or internet. For more information on current Dumas weather, listen to Greg Wright here on KDD. MyHighPlains.com reports a terrible loss of life during the blizzard conditions after an accident Monday around 2.45 p.m. Curry County Sheriff's deputies responded to a motor vehicle crash on US 6084, several miles east of Melrose, New Mexico. A passenger vehicle and a pickup truck had collided during the bad weather conditions. The occupants of the pickup truck had serious injuries and were transported to Plains Regional Medical Center. All four occupants of the passenger vehicle died at the scene. Their identities are being withheld pending notification of next of kin. After canceling flights in Amarillo for several days because of bad weather, the Rick Husband Amarillo International Airport officials say they are back on track. The first four departures yesterday morning did not go out because the planes were not back from the flights that were delayed the last night. They do not expect any further delays. If you'd like the latest Dumas, Panhandle, and Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow KDD News on YouTube. Simply search KDDD or Gene Key on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, KDD News.